Oh, yeah. you left. Hold on. Hey, hey, Envixie, don't don't leave yet. I want to see if the uh, password works. All right. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Uh, it's possible your friend scammed me, yes, and you're involved, but give me one sec, alright? Just... That was Arthur Reups, but we're gonna call him Reups. He's an Xbox scammer that used a 13-year-old kid to scam me. I hate scammers, but I stayed calm because of Gamer Gummies. Gamer Gummies are designed to keep you focused, energized, and calm when gaming. Use code SACRAMENTALOV for a beautiful 10% off. That's mygamergummies.com slash SACRAMENTALOV. Now back on board with the video. Scamming makes you a douchebag. Using kids for it makes you douchebag of the year. Douchebag, he's the douchebag of the year now. Ain't he great, folks? Ain't he grand? He's the douchebag of the year. I was in the looking for groups, shopping for scammers. I got scammed, so you don't have to. And I saw a post by z 3 nvix We're just gonna call him NVixie. It's like the scammers never learn. Modded Ack. Legit 5. And I'm not sure why he spelled it that way, but I'm sure he struggled. Let's just, uh, see if this is legitimate. Alright, you better have a mic, because if this guy doesn't have a mic, I'm not gonna interact with him. I do not feel like typing when I'm looking for scammers. Jesus, what the fuck is this? Similar to my other videos, if this guy was a scammer, we would expose him to the Xbox community. If he was legit, I would give the modded account away to a subscriber. If you're seeing the title, you already know what happened. So when Vixie sent me a message with, Yo, what's sh- <laughs> You wanna buy? Question mark. And I went straight to the point asking if he had a mic. No, but add R3 ups if you wanna buy a legit and fast delivery. Keep in mind, Invixie is not the scammer. He didn't know that this douchebag was the scammer. Invixie was a 13 year old kid that just wanted a modded account. Reups told him he'll give him a modded account if he advertises for him. So yes, Invixie was also scammed. Anyway, I told Invixie, no mic, no business, thanks anyway. I didn't feel like typing and talking to a fax machine. He has a mic and I do, so I can tell him that you want to speak with him if you want. Okay. I'm not gonna show the whole conversation, it was boring. I asked him if he has a mic, he said no. I have a mic. Oh, I said no mic, no business. Thanks anyway. He has a mic, and I do. I can tell him that you want to speak with him if you want. Like, you have a mic all of a sudden. That's... That's amazing. So eventually, Invixie sends me a party invite. Keep in mind, I am not worthy of speaking to Reups, who is the grand scamming wizard. I have to talk to a middleman. By middleman, I mean a 13 year old kid. While that was happening, I came across the e-girl that started the simp war of looking for groups. What the fu- it's you again? <laughs> Bruh, you're on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Uh, I knew I recognized that name from somewhere. I was like, where the fuck? I definitely made a video about this or something. Bruh, you on YouTube. <laughs> That's it's perfect. <laughs> fucking dude, like these fucking... Every time, man. He always poses chicks and go like, add me. I can't get bot followers. What a throwback. It looks like he's still pretending to be a girl for followers. Just give this dude bot followers already. Make the spam stop. Anyway, NVXC sent me a party invite. Join it? Wait, what? Oh, there's a party. Oh yeah, finally. <laughs> he said he has the mic. Let's confront him about that. Ah, so you have a mic. Earlier you said you don't have no mic. What was that about? I know. Because I did, I did not want to talk. Yeah, and that's... You should probably rethink that when you're selling accounts in the future. But anyways, uh, so you're selling a modded GTA account? Uh, I am not, but my uh, friend is. Your friend is? Okay, so you're advertising yeah. for your friend. Uh, and yeah. I understand your friend is not going to join a party because I'm not worthy of talking to him, right? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, yeah, invite your friend. I, I was under the impression that I'm not worthy of speaking to him. That's why, but okay, yeah, just invite him so I can just ask him some questions about the account. And uh, he can also give you a walkthrough. I don't really need a walkthrough, I'm just gonna change everything on it anyway. I just wanna buy a modded account, so. Okay, whether oh, there's a walkthrough oh. or not, it's not gonna make a difference whether they're scammers or not. That's why I'm saying no to a walkthrough. Because they might show me a modded account, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna sell me a modded account. That is the difference, so be careful when you're buying. Yo. Yo, what's up? So This guy right here sounds way too young yeah. to be working for him. I'm just saying. That's sketchy as fuck. That's the modded This account? is level 170. 
Yeah, it's a level 176 and it got 7 beer. So the scammer sent me photos of the modded account. Like I said earlier, this makes no difference because this is a scam in the first place. And he didn't show the level or cash on this account, giving me the impression that that's his personal account. He did send me the email to it, which I can only assume is a smurf email, similar to the last douchebag. That is also part of the scam. I'm scrolling over to Cash App, give me a sec. Alright, so once they send you the money on Cash App, you're just gonna like, send me a message of the email and password? Yeah, I seen it on the email now so when i just get the money i just have to send you the password okay so what's the what's the cash app uh type in this type in this number are quick. you talking uh, to me or your girl i'm not sure because you were on the phone i'm not talking to you okay cool type in this number it's my home but cash i don't know I said i'll be okay I should not be working on it. Don't let me have sell fucking money. Just a quick thing while I'm editing, he said his cash app doesn't work, which possibly means it was locked for scamming. Similar to his homeboy's cash app, I was warned about it being a scam, and after this, chances are it's also gonna be locked. Uh, the number I just sent you typed in on cash app. Send me a message and I'll send it again, and this shit will come up. There you go. Did you get the email now? Uh, yeah, I just got the email. Alright, yeah, I'll see you. So, okay, so I think I found it. It's, uh, Lintrell Austin? Lintrell Austin? Yeah, that's his cash app. Okay, cool. Let's send it. He said he said something about a fail. Uh, he did not say something about a fail because I just sent him $5 and I got confirmations for it through a text message and the app. And, um, there was also a little warning at the end, but that's just a story for another time. Um, it said he accepted the payment, so he, it did not fail, so just ask him again. Your friend might be trying to scam me, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah. The payment did get refunded, since Cash App told me this douchebag is a scammer. So the scammer is gonna send me a different Cash App account, which is gonna get reported for scamming anyway, and the scammer is gonna have to keep making new Cash App accounts. It's only $5. It's only $5. I mean, let's not devolve into animals. Dude, just get a job like a normal person. There are fast food places that pay more than $5, I'm just saying. Well, I see oh, no, uh, Michael sure, accepted yeah, the you. payment. Yeah, so did it. I'm assuming he did because uh, it's, it's showing in my cash balance thing that he accepted it, so. That's my brother. He's bought this nigga. This nigga got kids. Nigga, this nigga pushing 30. Right. Well, I hold up. Has kids and he's pushing 30? And he's scamming on Xbox? Beatles need to make a reference. <laughs> Alright, jokes aside, you gotta be the biggest loser to be scamming kids on Xbox while also being a father. Yeah, I bet his kids really look up to him. <laughs> I don't even know what that's I'm supposed to mean. <laughs> Insulting his friends. I can't see shit on this phone. Got a text saying, I sent the five bucks to Michael Stevens. He just says me back too, so yeah, I think he got it. Alright, cool. If you say he sent it, yeah, he got it. Alright. Finally! Yeah. Transaction is complete! Uh, Finally! Took like fucking 28 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes, even better. Took 30 minutes. Okay, so, uh, you sending the, uh, password over? Is, uh, is your friend Reups there? Seems quiet. I don't know. I feel like I'm about to get scammed. I already sent the money. Ah, uh, now there's literally nothing I can do except maybe call my bank and say, stop the payment, but this was done over Cash App, so it's not like my bank could do anything. Um... Yeah, I think I'm about to get fucked up the ass with five dollars, cause uh, I feel like this guy's about to scam me. I did get a warning saying, this might be a scam, do not send the money, and I was like, fuck you, I'm sending money, and I'm sitting here, waiting to possibly be scammed. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> this is what I do. I get scammed on Xbox Live. Never thought I'd end up here, but here we go. So after Reup sent me the email and I paid him $5, he went to the bathroom for 11 minutes and 55 seconds. I'm not gonna question what a grown man is doing in the bathroom for almost 12 minutes, but he's a scammer. And scammers uh, always do some weird shit when no one's looking. Fuck it, I'm, uh, I'm about to ruin my chances by sending him a message. <laughs> this guy's gonna go like, man, I'm scamming you for saying that to me. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> it's a chop chop. I feel like this guy is. I I need to. Before I get kicked out, I feel like I'm gonna get fucking Walter Whited out of this shit. Out of this party. I feel like they're about to kick me out. Reason why is because. The, at first, this guy said he has the mic. Then, he's, then I said, I'm not doing business without a mic. He said he has a mic. He got his friend after like fucking 30 minutes to get on a party check. Because apparently I wasn't worthy of speaking to him. And now I'm just like left on red basically. No one's talking except for Zenfixie. 
or whatever his name is, and Reops is like MIA, he's completely gone, not responding to any messages whatsoever, he's not even like in the party, like he's in the party, but he's like away from the party, you know? So I feel like I'm about to get kicked out or he's about to leave. Yo. Oh, Reops is finally back, what's up? I go fucking you had to use the bathroom. Oh, you were in the bathroom for a very long time. Also, it's not very professional to go to the bathroom during a tra transaction like that. But all right, so yeah, I'm waiting for the um, the password. All right. Nah, I don't cheat. I don't think I don't. You don't cheat? What do you mean you don't cheat? You just send me a modded account, bro. You don't mind waiting. Did he send you the pass? Yeah, he sent it to me. Oh, yeah. you left. Hold on. Hey, hey, Envixie, don't don't leave yet. I want to see if the uh, password works, all right? Yeah, I will not leave. 569 Gmail. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Wait, did it work? Uh, well... Let's just say the email worked. I don't know about the password, though. He scammed you. Uh, it's possible your friend scammed me, yes, and you're involved, but give me one sec, alright? Just... Oh, yeah, wrong password. Hey, uh, try to get your friend in here. I want to confirm if he actually scammed me, which I'm assuming he did, but get your friend in the, in the party. I want to ask him, because I know he's not going to respond to my message, probably. No, I did not know he was going to scam. You did not know. Okay, well, I just sent him a party invite. Oh, wait, no, he might have... <laughs> I think he blocked me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he blocked me. <laughs> oh, wait, your friend you is such it? a scumbag. He blocked me, dude. That is so not cool. Um, he fucking scammed me for five bucks. <laughs> oh, dude, your friend is really gonna regret that, trust me. But what do you have to say, though? Yeah, that he's a scumbag. He's a scumbag? Yeah. He blocked me, yeah. I, I checked his account, Every nothing is showing up, confirming that he blocked me. So he took, he, and the thing is, the Cash App warned me saying this might be a scam, so I knew it was a scam, I had a feeling it's a scam. But, uh, I sent it anyway, because I'm doing something on my end. Just to get evidence that he is scamming, and yeah, it is a scam. I mean, you're advertising a scam on Xbox Live, that's something I want to know now. You contributed to me getting scammed. No, I did not. You did I not? You, you, you did were not you're advertising... Know. Okay. No, I did not know he was going to scam. How did you get to the point where you're advertising the modded accounts on looking for groups? Like, did he tell you to do this? Uh, no, I told him if I can get a, a seller, no, a buyer, I will get an account. Ah, okay, and let me guess, did he message you saying, because I'm pretty much a buyer, I sent him five bucks, did he send you any account? No. So he scammed you as well? Yeah. Your friend, your dirtbag friend scammed you, okay. Um. <laughs> I think. No, no, he scammed you. Uh, do me a favor, I want to conf confirm if he blocked you as well. Go to his account and tell me what you see. Did it, does it say under, does it say this person hasn't played any games yet? No. Okay, yeah, then that means he didn't block you, but he blocked me. I fucking knew it, dude. That guy disappears, takes a fucking 30 minute bathroom break, and then comes back saying, Oh yeah, here's the password, then j j j fucking jumps out of the party, leaves the party, never to be seen again. Dude, this guy pretty much scammed this little kid. This kid is 13. He scammed him by making him work for him. That is such a dirtbag move, dude. I'm gonna have a field day with this fucking asshole. So after re sent me the password, he left the party and blocked me. And I was trying to log into the modded account. So re took my money and ran away. Gave no explanation. I mean, no explanation needed. He is a scammer. But using a kid to scam more kids? Yeah. Douchebag of the year. Douchebag. He's Mr. Douchebag of the year. Look at him smile. Truly the douchebag of the Oh, excuse me, I was cheering with the crowd. To follow up with re-ups, I hit him up on my Lily Girl 3U account with Do you sell modded cars? But he never responded, which is typical. After a scammer gets away, they disappear for a bit to prevent any confrontations or whatever. Which sucks because I wanted to like <laughs> jump out and go like, ha, remember me? It's me. 
<laughs> that would have been funny for the video, but you know, yeah. And with Invixi, the history of the scammer using him is still on his account. I'm hoping he could remove it, but it's also good evidence, if that makes sense. So I guess, don't risk buying stuff from other people on Xbox. I mean, he's not the only scammer, there's a ton of them out there. We'll find them, one by one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, I would appreciate that very much. With that being said, I thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed your stay, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'm out. Goodbye.